tonight in a theme that rhymes. God, work with my mind. Get me prepared for what you have for me. There are many of you, you don't have things tonight that you should have. Therefore, he should already be possessing certain things tonight, but you don't have it. You don't have it. And the reason you don't have it is your mind. But I won't hold it. I won't mistreat him because of it. I won't let my memory control my feelings. I won't let that make me hate you. Because I'm, I'm trying to drop one on you as Christian. Whether folks sinners or saved, you can't afford to hate nobody and make it to glory. You cannot hate anybody. You got to love those that despise. You got to pray for people. Praying what? That they get saved. If somebody doesn't hurt you and moved on, you need to you need to get love in your heart. You need to get hate out your heart because hate is going to control, listen, your feelings and your thoughts. And when you speak, you're going to speak out of the hatred that's in you. Come on, you have no choice. But notice 1 Peter 2 and 1. 1 Peter 2 and 1. Is the word helping anybody? Is the word helping anybody? Tell your neighbor, God giving us this word because he's about to do something within this church that eyes have not seen. Woo! That ears have not neither done entered into the heart of what? God about to do stuff for families in here and the enemy tried to block it. He tried to do things to separate people. But we won't be defeated. But we won't be defeated. But we won't be defeated. I'm going to step up and love my brother. I'm going to step up and love my sister. Be seated. And sometimes you're loving people that in totality you don't understand. You're loving people whose personalities are different than yours. First Peter 2 1 said, therefore, laying aside all what? Laying aside all what? Laying aside all what? Tell you that's where he get moving on from. Tell somebody when you move on, you lay it all aside. Let's dissect the text, okay? Therefore laying aside, what's that next word? Just that next word. Therefore laying aside. Therefore laying aside. Therefore laying aside. See what happened to some people, they don't lay aside all. See, if you lay aside some, listen to me carefully. If you lay aside some, even in laying aside some, you're going to feel better. Because all of that ain't in you. But see, the part you wouldn't lay aside, it grows. And most of the time, it grows back greater or worse. Some of us know the truth. When we didn't get certain stuff all the way out of us, and we allowed even a little to linger, over years and months, the little turned into a whole lot. Oh, some of us know that's right. That's what he's saying when it comes to malice, hatred, envy, meanness. He's, he, Paul said, lay what? Lay all of it aside. That means when it comes to getting things right, we get the whole thing right. So that then we can lay aside all of the what? Malice. But if you hold on to any of it, it'll what? It'll grow. Do I have anybody that will be a witness to that? In your life before you laid aside some things, but not all. And the part you refused to let go, it grew. It grew into much more. Come on. Now, now let me see this before we move on. And one more scripture and I'm going to close it. Listen. How many have ever gotten over something with a person? Be your spouse, somebody in the church, somebody on the job, family. But then you went back to revisiting stuff and just stirred stuff right back up. Woo. Tell you, that means once you move on, when it comes to certain things, a funeral needs to take place. And you need to do what? Bury stuff. 
How many enjoy the teach? Some stuff need to be what? Buried. And tell your neighbor, when you bury things, buried. then someone starts bringing up what we buried. Let them know they're living in the graveyard. You're dealing with dead things. You're dealing with things that was buried. Anybody want to sleep in the graveyard night? I know two or three good ones. Y'all feeling me? That's why we have to what? We have to lay it what? Lay it aside. Who are we preaching to today? Who am I preaching to? Okay. Who am I preaching to? So that, that's what? That's including me. I got to be first partaker of this. I got to be the first one to show people how we can move on. I got to be the first one to do that. Amen? Then after I'm the first to do it, you should see elders doing it, mature deacons doing it, mature leaders doing it. You get all of us doing it. Then I, now what you got? You got congregation scribing to do it. You get the congregation scribing to do it. Now you got a church as a whole that's scribing to operate like that. You see how powerful it is? But in any one of those chains, if it gets broke or disconnected, we got trouble. If I'm not doing it, I can't teach it. I can't teach it. And if I'm teaching it, but I do not have mature leaders doing it, it will not trickle down to the congregation. Then I can't come to mature leaders and ask them to handle certain problems and issues. Why? Because I know amongst them, they, they, they can't let things go. Amen? Amen? But before I move on, just tell your neighbor, in every church, in every church. and in every family, in every family. There, will be trouble. there will be trouble. At one point, there were like five of us in our house, and we had trouble. Three of them moved on and left two behind. Guess what? The two behind still be dealing with trouble. Come on. And the more church grows, whew, wait. And it surprised me how people will have issues, but it's like they don't want to look at how long they've been knowing each other. If me and you only been knowing each other two weeks, and I mean out of the two weeks, we done had a week and a half of just trouble and going at each other. Something is seriously wrong. We've been knowing each other for two weeks. And a week and a half ain't been nothing but arguing and fussing and at each other though. Something is wrong. But if I tell you I've been with Donna for almost 30 years and we done had all kinds of things, then y'all going to look and say, oh, yeah, about 30 years. Good gracious. Some of us been knowing each other for some years. You got to put years behind. So are there going to be things? Yes. Yes. Some of you done got into it with your own mama. Pat, don't you talk about mama today. I ain't. I'm just saying. You done got into it with mama. Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10. Come on. We know what we've been through, but we've come through. So you honor people like that. Amen. Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10 and 23. You honor folk like that. Honor people who try to help you resolve things. Honor them people who are getting in there trying to give you wisdom with your issues that you can get beyond them and move on. Get them people honor. Amen. For using wisdom to help you. Know that Proverbs 10 and 23. To do evil, we back closing with the fool having no delight in understanding. And we already determined, most of us, we don't want to sit in the seat of a fool. Proverbs 10 and 23. To do evil is like sport to a fool. But remember, what did I tell you about a fool? The fool has no delight in what? So to do evil, since he doesn't have delight in understanding, to do evil for the fool is like sport. It's like fun. The fool enjoys doing wrong. A fool enjoys evil. A fool enjoys stirring up mess. It's like sport to him or her. Come on. Pastor, how could somebody be that messed up? They don't delight in understanding. Now, there are people 
who are so because they don't delight in understanding when it comes to a church a family or what have you they would rather be fighting than united y'all have seen somebody like that so dysfunctional they're not happy until people are fighting and arguing some of you I said some of you grew up like that you wouldn't even be able to admit it you, you ever seen a person that is like this person just wants to fight some of their cousins like that and people they just want to fight they want to pick a fight y'all ain't ever been around nobody just kept saying and doing things and you just like you want to fuss today you keep at it you want to argue because to do wrong is like sport to a fool but if we delight in understanding notice what the, how it closes but a man of understanding has what a man of understanding has what a man of understanding has what and see he or she is going to use that wisdom watch this to make the right choices 